Sams and I'm with uh, Mid-Iowa Antique Power Association and we're holding our 31st annual uh, threshing and power show. Uh, this year we're featuring the International Harvester line uh, along with all other makes and brands of tractors and equipment. But uh, featuring the International Harvester, it is uh, the show for the state IH uh, club and so it makes up for a a large group of tractors. Uh, during our three days, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, they'll be running the sawmill, uh, shingle mill. Uh, they'll be doing threshing. Uh, they will be out in the field, uh, weather permitting, uh, doing some uh, cutting of the oats. And uh, if it dries a little more, they'll be plowing. Uh, we have steam engines that will be uh, powering some of the equipment some of the time, some of the time it will be uh, tractors. Uh, we have a nice flea market and craft area uh, here and a lot of gas engines uh, and some of them are doing jobs that they did in the past uh, like pumping water, grinding corn and things like that so some nice demonstrations. Uh, there's some different activities for kids out here, uh, uh, pedal tractor poles, there's uh, rope making and things like that going on for them as well. Uh, we have music uh, throughout the day and then in the evening, uh, Friday and Saturday evening we have uh, uh, tonight uh, on Friday the RBJA Trio, uh, on Saturday night the Prairie Lightning Group, uh, then Sunday morning a group called the Basics. Uh, we'll be here for a morning um, worship hour along with Pastor Bud Kelly. So there's a lot going on out here. Uh, we have a food stand. Uh, the club is selling um, burgers and uh, Polish sausage. Uh, there's a lot of homemade pies and bars that are brought in, which is usually very popular. Uh, the ladies make up a lot of pies and, and they go well. Uh, so there's a lot of things going on, a lot of fun. Uh, we expect a large crowd of people, and uh, looks like the weather's going to be good for us. Oh, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last day? Who's and bright stars through the perilous night. O'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets when the bombs were singing from State Center, Iowa, member of Mid-Iowa Antique, here displaying a number of IH tractors to help show the units of the past and promote the Antique Club, help them there with their IH show. We have a pink tractor underneath our flagpole, who belongs to my daughter, and that's uh, painted for for breast, breast cancer awareness. My name is Bob Gearing. I'm with Iowa Chapter 5. I'm the state vice president. This uh, We come to Marshalltown every five years to, for our state show. This year, we're raffling off a customized golf cart. The proceeds 
go to our FFA grant programs and our scholarships. Between the two, we give $9,000 to our youth, uh, and uh, we have almost 500 members statewide, nationally, we're 7,800. We have a national show, which was in June, in Sedalia, Missouri. We had a winter convention that was in uh, Michigan City, Indiana. We even have uh, two chapters in Canada and one in Sweden. I don't know how that one came about, but uh, there's one there too. So uh, we have a lot of fun and we enjoy doing, showing what we got. Okay, my name is John Van Ortstrand. I live in Marshalltown, Iowa. I have been to every show that Mid-Iowa Antique Power has had. I've been in the chairman of the gas engine part for the, since 91. Uh, the reason I do this, I grew up on a farm. I was a mechanic. I like old mechanical things. Uh, this display here is a Waterloo Boy pump jack engine. It was built in 1915, so it's 100 years old this year. This is how the farmers would pump water to, to uh, water their livestock and so forth.
blacksmiths here. There's there's three of us that are set up. Um, right now, originally, the blacksmith made everything. He did all the plow, he fixed all the implements, he shooed the horses. Uh, colonial times, he made all the, he made all the kitchen utensils. Uh, now, it's, there's professional blacksmiths, but there's still, a lot of them are mainly architectural. There's still some repair work going on. Um, but a lot of it is architectural now. And then we're, in this kind of a setting, we're doing a lot of craft work unless a repair comes in, somebody wants me to fix something. Basically, it's using a, a forge for heat and the anvil for the actual forming. Um, different, different hammers, as you can see, different tongs, because it is, when it gets up to the, uh, the medium red, it's right around 15, 1600 degrees. So it's not something you want to try and hold on to with your hand. Blacksmithing has been around since before Christ, and uh, in one form or another. Uh, copper, bronze, stones. Uh, and now, uh, a lot of the old stuff, like plow work and stuff, that's getting hard to find people that have done that, because a lot of that stuff's gone. Amish still do some of it, but uh, around here we don't see much of it. Kind of set up, you make your setup as you can do it. This this here is the, the leg vise or the post vise. That's, that's for holding stuff that you want to file, bend over or something. The anvil is sitting there, that's about a 110 pound, 113 pound anvil. Uh, the bench I fabricated, the forge I fabricated to to uh, kind of meet my own needs, my own setup. It's kind of however you can best make something work to your own needs. There's a lot of the tools, like the anvils. Uh, they still make some, but the the anvil, this anvil here, was probably made late 1800s, early 1900s, uh, and they've held up remarkably well. Uh, they still make them, but uh, I've, I've never seen a brand new one, so. <laughs> it starts out as half inch square, and then uh, through a forging process, you work it down to, down to this point. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, there's kind of a gold color, a copper color on it. That's done with a brass brush and black heat. It's, it's just basically a patina, and uh, just one of the kind of tricks you come up with over time. Um, the, the table over there has got some of the stuff that I've made. Uh, it's just whatever each person likes to make and if he's got something he needs, I've got a leg vise over there that I need to make parts for. So whenever I get to it, whenever I can work it in, that's, what's, that's what we do out here. Um, the blacksmiths Keith and I, we're part of a group that meets down at the Haverhill Blacksmith Shop, the Edel Blacksmith Shop, and we have meetings on uh, every every the second Sunday of the month. We have open forges. If you want to come down, if you're interested, uh, we'd be glad to have you. You just want to see what's going on. You want to do some blacksmithing. We're we're more than happy to have you come down, and we're trying to get things going down there again. And uh, it's a good way to get your feet wet if you think you're interested. It's a good hobby to get into.